Welcome to SKC Tech Clips. Today, we'll show you how to calibrate a sample pump for high flow sampling with the SKC Parallel Particle Impactor, or PPI. Start by assembling equipment required for calibration and sampling. Choose a constant flow air sample pump capable of 8, 4, or 2 liters a minute. Select a calibrator within the pump's flow range. Use method-specified MCE, PVC, or PTFE filters and supports. Contact your laboratory to condition and pre- and post-wave filters if sampling for gravimetric analysis. PPI samplers are available in reusable aluminum or disposable plastic for respirable or thoracic sampling. Disposable PPI can be purchased preloaded with PVC or MCE filters if only chemical analysis is desired. A calibration adapter is available for disposable plastic PPI samplers. Flexible Tigon tubing connects calibration and sampling train components. Calibrate verify pump flow rate before and after each sample. For this video, we will use the SKC 4 liter a minute user loaded disposable PPI. This PPI model is supplied with a shrink wrapped inlet plate. Remove the shrink wrap before proceeding. Use forceps to insert a 37 mm support pad and filter into the sampler base plate. If you intend to sample for gravimetric analysis, you will need to have filters conditioned and weighed at a laboratory before sampling. Install the inlet on the base plate. Press down firmly and evenly for an effective seal. Remove the protective cap from the sampler exhaust. Install the calibration adapter on the sampler inlet. Be sure to establish a good seal. Connect the pump inlet to the sampler exhaust with tubing. Use a second length of tubing to connect the calibrator to the calibration adapter. Run the pump for five minutes and prepare the calibrator according to manufacturer instructions. Set the pump flow rate to that required by the PPI model used. This achieves the closest match to the respirable or thoracic ISO 7708 SEN criteria. Enter calibration mode on the pump. See pump operating instructions for more information. Observe flow readings. Adjust flow calibration until the calibrator displays a consistent reading within 5% of the required flow rate and record that flow rate. Disconnect all items from the pump inlet and set aside for flow rate verification at the end of sampling. We are now ready to begin sampling. Prepare a new PPI by inserting a new support pad and method specified filter in the sampler base plate. Press the inlet plate firmly on the base plate. For gravimetric analysis, consult your laboratory for filter conditioning, pre-weighing, and post-weighing. It is standard protocol to pre- and post-weigh the filter on the same analytical balance. Adhere the provided label to the bottom of the sampler's base plate and record sample ID. Record sample start time on this label when ready to sample. Remove the protective cap from the sampler exhaust. Attach the pump inlet to the PPI exhaust with Tigon tubing. The tubing should be long enough to reach from worker collar to waist. Attach the PPI in a worker's breathing zone. Clip the pump at the worker's waist where it will not inhibit movement or sampling. Turn on the pump. Consult the method or your laboratory to determine the appropriate sampling time based on the analytical limit of quantification. Stop sampling by placing the pump in hold. Remove the sampling train from the worker. Seal the PPI sampler. Record the sample stop time on the label on the bottom of the sampler base plate. Pull all tubing from the PPI sampler. Press the protective cap onto the sampler's exhaust. On a sampling sheet, 
Record pertinent sampling information, such as sample start and stop time, flow rate, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. Reinstall the calibration train to verify that flow is still within 5% of the desired flow rate. Record the post sample flow rate. Package all samples in blanks for shipment to an accredited laboratory for chemical analysis or post weighing and gravimetric analysis. For more information and TechClip videos, visit www.skcinc.com. Click on the training button.